Okay, I hope this is recording. I think it is. But anyway, okay. Uh, so, hi. Uh, this is Merritt Holloway. Uh, super serious seamster. And uh, so, I'm back to... Uh, so, now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to... Darn, I didn't cut those, uh, those handles uh, for the blue. So, I'll have to cut those. But in any event, so now I'm going to... We're gonna sew the we're gonna sew these bags uh together real quick, okay? And so what I do is uh again this is where I have to do the uh I have to put the fabric inside before I put the bulk. Normally I like to keep the fabric out. I can do it the other way, but then I have to open the zipper or uh or either so far away and be it's it's like a headache so it's easier to just do it this way so this is what i recommend okay now when you're doing the foundational stitch the first stitch you need to lock this okay the other stitches you don't have to okay and so from there i just kind of follow the line this one it looks like i got cut a little bit when, on the overlock a little bit crooked but still i'm following it. okay so now when i get to the end where the zipper is, what I do is, is I turn the zipper, I turn the zipper so that it's sideways, okay? In fact, I'm holding the teeth and I turn it sideways and then I, I, I have the needle to come over here. But I turn it sideways so that it can clear the foot right there, okay? I didn't used to do this for over 30 years. I used to open the zipper. And then one day I, I found, I found, did you see it? Did you see how I did that? Okay, you're going to see it a few more times. But in any event, uh, over 30 years I did that. Okay, so now I had mentioned about the, the cut. When you, when you cut this, I tore that, the one I tore, that's why I had to overlock it. But when you cut it, okay, you can overlock it first. Okay, you can overlock both sides, and then when you cut it, okay, you already have the overlock on there. So technically, that can save you time, but then my, my table was all messed up, so I didn't want to mess around trying to set up a place to cut it. I, I had enough trouble setting up a place to iron, but I made the iron, and I'm glad I did because I could have sold that, and but it just... It, 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 I was glad I ironed it. Anyway, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm, it will, I'm, this is how I make all of my bags, okay? And I sew them. Okay, and again, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn the, the zipper on its side. So it's, so it's perpendicular to the zipper feet. Okay, and then I'm crossing, I'm clearing the zipper foot, because this is where it can get caught, right there. So I'm making sure that I'm clearing the zipper foot and I have it perpendicular, okay? And then um, I'm, running the, I'm running the zipper just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna lock it right here, okay? Okay, now this one is blank, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save this one because I'm gonna put something on it. I don't know what yet, and I have a lot of blanks actually. You know, to be honest, I have blanks all over the place, but I am gonna make just a couple of blank ones, just so that way we'll be able to, you know, discuss the difference of the blank one because the blank ones they have an elo uh, elo uh, eloquent look. And another thing, you can make these out of velvet. I have a lot of velvet. In fact, well, I make different kind of bags out of velvet. I make these drawstring bags. Like it's the process sort of slows down. Like, see, like it seemed like we were going slow because we because we're making six bags. Okay, but and so. Now that's the first one. So that's the first stitch where you just stitch it together. Then you then you open it up, you unzip it, and then you come right here, and then you do the same thing like on the first side. Okay, now you don't need to lock this because 
we already locked the zipper okay when we first put the zipper in and so all you have to do on this is the same thing and again this one it could although I think you're gonna have less problem than on the beginning because now this fabric has been cut and now we're sewing so I'm not seeing I felt a little pucker right there but it's not it's puckering a little bit but nothing like the other one and then you can you can sew it and keep the zipper open for over 30 years I used to I used to close the zipper and do a whole bunch of stuff oh okay so then once I finish I just sew it off and then and then I raise the presser foot and then I push it through like that and then I and then I get the next one okay and uh, I open up the zipper Okay, now that thread broke, so. Actually, I have stronger thread than this, but I just, uh, I was looking at the thread that I had on the bobbins, okay? And I had a whole bunch of blue thread that was this color on the bobbin. So I just said, okay, I'll just use this thread. But also, another thing is that, uh, a while back, I uh, I hit a needle. The needle hit uh, on the throat plate, and you can even see the little nick. And sometimes, once you hit a needle with the throat plate, really you want to change the throat plate. Okay. The only reason I didn't change it, and because I could see that there's a little nick in there, that can cause the thread to break a little bit too. But the reason I haven't changed that throat plate was because it was sort of like a little small nick and uh, I get tired of changing the door plates because I did a needle but what you what you want to do when you sew is that you need to know the machine how thick it can sew and you need to know all of that like exactly and then when you know that then you you won't hardly break needles because I know the thickness and I know how thick I can go when I'm sewing backward or even how thick and what I have to do if I'm sometimes it's very very thick I have a walking foot machine as well but sometimes it's very thick and uh, I have to uh, when it's when it's very thick uh, sometimes I have to just only stick See, I got a little thing right there, a little uh, crease, but it's okay, you know, just, just a little dinky little bag. Okay, so if you have to, uh, if you have to, like, for whatever reason, move the zipper, then you want to put the needle in the fabric, make the needle go all the way down, and then you're going to raise the presser foot, okay, and then you're going to slide the slide the uh, slide the zipper past okay and then once you slide it past then you're gonna lower the presser foot and then you can finish now when you do that that makes the best seam because when you when you leave the zipper open sometimes you instead of being able to go exactly straight like that sometimes you you, you do a little curve around but for a little bag, you know, you have to weigh your gains and losses. And I'd rather gain the time and to be able to sew it without opening the zipper. But keep in mind, I opened and closed the zipper every time like that for over 30 years. So that was 30 years of wasting my time like that. And then one day, one day I, I tried it like that. And I go, damn. But I've known a few people that like work in the uh, that have worked in sewing factories, and I'm my own sewing factory. And and then I've been to a, like kind of you know a number of sewing factories because I've been in sewing. That's my trade, okay? And uh, or trying to be one of my trades. But anyway, I mentioned before that you sometimes you have to sew with these in your hand, okay? So as an example. 
I didn't have to do it now, but like now that I'm cutting all these, so but I don't really have to do. It. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut some of these handles, okay? I hate to cut them just right now on the spot, but I'm gonna do it. But I do have this one green one, okay? So I can do this one, okay? How you like that? Look at that. That's really dope right there. Okay. I think I really make some, you know, some pretty cool stuff. I mean, I'm not a girl, so I'm not gonna wear this or carry it, not for me. But then again, you know, like say Lena, the lady that does the sewing, the one that made me that quilt, like probably I'm gonna give her this bag. In fact, I'm taking her a whole bunch of sewing stuff tomorrow when I go to church. Okay, so anyway, so, so we put that and then what I'll do now, sometimes, like I said earlier, I can also add like a contrasting, uh, a contrasting, uh, a contrasting handle, okay? So I'm still gonna cut those, but, but like, so every now and then I'll make a bag and then I'll put a contrasting handle, like in this case. So this is some, I, I made some beautiful pants out of this fabric. In fact, I made like three pair of pants out of that fabric. Uh, one pair for me, wait. One pair for me that zip up, and then I made another pair for this lady that I never get. Maybe I only made two. Seemed like I made three, but okay, I guess I only made two. Okay, anyway, so let me, let me cut these real quick, okay, so just, Bear with me. I ironed those and I showed them to you. What did I do? <clears throat> I want to go while while we rolling. I don't want to have to stop. Okay, I'm about to go to stop. <laughs> 